The Aston Martin Valiant is not your typical Grand Tourer. This ultra-exclusive track-focused monster is a testament to Aston Martin's commitment to performance and it also marks a return to a driver-focused and engaging driving experience. So join me as we explore the Valiant, its awe-inspiring specifications and the philosophy behind this ultimate driver's machine. So the Valiant story begins with a single individual, Fernando Alonso, the accomplished Spanish Formula 1 driver. While details are scarce, it's widely reported that Alonso approached Aston Martin with a request for a no holds barred track-focused derivative of the already potent Valua Coupe. This personal commission sparked the creation of the Valiant, a car designed to prioritize performance above all else. The Valiant takes the Valua's core elements and pushes them to the absolute limit. The most striking difference lies in the extensive aerodynamic upgrades. The front end receives a dramatic makeover, featuring a prominent splitter that aggressively slices through the air. A fixed rear wing and a sizable diffuser work in tandem to generate significant downforce at the rear, keeping the Valiant glued to the tarmac during high-speed cornering. The entire bodywork, meticulously crafted from lightweight carbon fiber, is sculpted to optimize airflow. As the Martin draws inspiration from its racing heritage, incorporating aerodisc wheels inspired by the Le Mans RHAM1 of the late 1970s. These lightweight magnesium wheels not only reduce unsprung weight but also house massive carbon ceramic brakes for exceptional stopping power. Aston Martin's engineers went to extraordinary lengths to shave off every possible pound. A 3D printed rear subframe, a titanium torque tube and lightweight lithium ion batteries all contribute to a total weight reduction of 51 pounds compared to the Valua. The suspension system receives a complete overhaul featuring multi-MAC adaptive spool valve dampers. This advanced technology allows for near instantaneous adjustments, optimizing handling based on real-time driver conditions. Then for the heart of the beast, under the hood of the Valiant, there is a motor that beats with a familiar rhythm, a mighty 5.2-liter twin turbocharged V12 engine. Now while the exact origins remain unconfirmed, whispers suggest a close connection to the Valua's power plant. Aston Martin has managed to squeeze out an additional 30 horsepower out of this potent unit, bringing the total output to a staggering 735 horsepower. Torque figures remain unchanged at 555 foot-pounds of torque, a decision likely made to preserve the integrity of the six-speed manual transmission. Yes, you heard that right. This car features our boy Manuel. In an age of automated gearboxes, the Valiant proudly boasts a six-speed manual transmission, a refreshing nod to the purest driving experience. Mounted as a transaxle at the rear for optimal weight distribution, this gearbox offers a direct connection between driver and machine, allowing for ultimate control and a heightened sense of connection with the car's performance. Moving inside, the Valiant's interior prioritizes functionality over creature comforts. A half cage adds a layer of safety for track use, while a pair of Ricardo podium bucket seats provide exceptional support and bolstering during high-G maneuvers. Four-point harnesses further emphasize the car's track-focused purpose. The carbon fiber and Alcantara replace the luxurious trimmings found in the Aston Martin Grand Tourers, and one of my favorite elements in the interior is the exposed linkage for the shifter, a raw and mechanical element that reinforces the car's connection to its driving experience. Aston Martin also claims to have refined the gear shifts for a more precise and engaging feel. So with all of that, how much for one of these? While the Aston Martin Valiant is a true collector's item, you see there's a production run limited to just 38 units, so there really won't be a lot out, out there. But let's say you've got a lot of money and you want one. Good luck, all of them are already spoken for, all of them have already been sold, so you can't get one even if you had the money. But just for interest sake, the price tag for one of these are hovering around 2 million pounds with deliveries being scheduled to begin in the fourth quarter of 2024. And the first car will be delivered to Fernando Alonso himself. Now, if you want to see one of these as you can't buy them anymore, the car will make its debut at the prestigious Goodwood Festival of Speed later in July. To end it off, the Aston Martin Valiant stands as a defiant outlier in today's automotive landscape, in an era increasingly dominated by electrification and, and autonomous driving technologies, the Valiant celebrates the raw, unadulterated connection between driver and machine. It's a car built for those who yearn for the visual thrills of high-performance driving. 
the satisfaction of mastering a demanding machine and the pure joy of exploiting the full potential of a meticulously crafted automobile. But at the end of the video, please let me know what you think of this new Aston Martin. Do you like the design? Do you dislike it? I think this thing is sexy. This is a good looking car. Um, but I do think it's well overpriced. That's that's a bit insane. The the price is, yeah. Um, but let me know what you think. Would you pay that amount for this car? Um, and let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please have a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys did like it, you'll most like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel. See if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.